Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell, we have officially moved into our new house. This is my first time filming here and I'm so fucking hype about it. I have not filmed a video in months through the move-in process, through all the work we were doing. I just had so much going on and I am so excited to be sitting down today. I'm just doing a short little review of two new items that just came out recently that I want to share with you guys. Those are the Desi Katie Frontation Collection Highlight in Chasing the Sun and also the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis Palette. Balling on a budget on this one for sure, you guys, so you don't wanna miss this video. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you guys would like to hear a little bit about these products and hear my thoughts and see them up close and personal, you can go ahead and keep on watching this video. Okay, so I wanna tell you guys, like, I love our new house. We just moved in, we're getting settled and everything. And I realized how much I missed YouTube. Oh my God, I hadn't done a video in months. And then I also realized that I hadn't done a lot of beauty videos lately. And one of my friends even was like, girl, I miss your beauty tutorials, like your product reviews. Like, why haven't you done anything makeup? And you guys know I'm so multi-passionate. I do my books, I do my coaching, I have YouTube, Instagram, like I have so many things going on that I did kind of slip away from the beauty community for a minute, but, I'm feeling really passionate again and I wanna bring it back. You know, I still do bridal makeup every weekend. I run my hair and makeup company here in the Detroit area, but I wanna bring more beauty back to my YouTube channel because I missed it. So let's jump right in and talk about these two new beauty products that came out recently that I was super hype about. So I had to get my hands on both of them. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collab. Desi Perkins and Katie from YouTube collabed and made a second collection with Dose of Colors, the Friendcation collection. It's adorable. I really think I'm gonna get the palette next because the more I see photos of it, I just really, really want it. But the first item I grabbed was the Chasing the Sun highlight, which their packaging is just so on point always with these. It's always so pretty. So the Chasing the Sun color, I was expecting it from the photos and stuff online to be a little bit lighter and a little bit more gold, but I feel like it has a lot more bronze than I was expecting. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It works with me when I'm self tanned and it works with me right now. I do have it on, but if you are extremely fair skinned, this is probably not going to be a good choice for you. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys so you can see. So it's right here on my arms. As you can see, there is a little bit more of like a bronzy gold peach tone to it. So it does have a little bit more pigment that can show up a little bit darker on the skin. When I initially first started putting it on, I was a little worried for a second, but it did kind of work with my self tanned skin right now. But when I'm really, really, really light in the winter, this might not be something I would use as a highlight, but I think it would make a beautiful shadow. I use a lot of my highlights as shadows just to get a little more use out of them. It's a great, trick for you guys that love like shimmery, glowy, shadowy things on the eye. Highlights make beautiful shadows. Now I did get the first collection from Desi and Katie with Dose of Colors, which was, which I don't even think it had a name. It was just Desi and Katie, but this was the Fuego highlight. And this one I've loved, as you can tell, I've hit pan on it quite a bit, but this one is a lot more gold just to compare the two shades for you guys. You can see this one is a lot lighter. This one has a lot more like mid pigment, more bronzy, for the skin. This one is definitely better for lighter skin tones, Fuego. And I'm not gonna lie, I did put a little bit of Fuego right on top of this just to make it a little bit extra. Oops, sorry, not sorry. So these are now on sale online. They are also in your local Altas. I will have everything linked down below where you guys can get it. But if you are looking for something bronzy and glowy and beautiful, check this out. Like I said, for really fair complexed girls, might not be the best choice. <laughs> now BH Cosmetics were like the first palettes I ever bought, like the multicolored ones. And I wanna say, I feel like BH Cosmetics has come so far and stepped up their game so much in recent years. They've started doing collabs with YouTubers. They've come out with a lot more like upgraded palettes. I think their formula has changed a lot. And they're now being carried in Ulta, which they were never in stores before. So that does have to tell you something. Um, a lot of their palettes they've come out with have changed a lot. They don't look as cheap as the old ones used to. They've always been really low in cost, but I think they've stepped up their packaging, their formula, formulas and everything. I know some really popular palettes from them recently were the Festival palette and the Take Me to Brazil palette, which had really bright, crazy colors, which just for some, it's their thing. For me, I go more neutral. You guys know that. So this palette though, I snagged it. It was at the checkout at my Ulta and I am not going to lie, like the amount of neutral shimmers in here was what really sold me because I know I can get so much use out of this for bridal makeup because those champagne, those gold, those pink shimmers are what I do on a lot of my bridal lids because it just creates that really pretty bridal glam without being too much, too sparkly. It just creates like really shimmery, pretty like wet foiled lids. 
I'm gonna swatch a few of these for you guys, but I do wanna tell you, I have on my eyes right now, this whole eye lick is from this palette, and I was super impressed with the pigment, the blendability. I was just floored with the quality of this palette, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I haven't gotten a BH Cosmetics palette in so long, and I was so pleasantly surprised by this, and it was under 20 bucks, it was super cheap. So if you guys can snag this, this is a beautiful, like, supplementary palette to have in your kit or in your collection at home. So on my eyes right now, I actually used sand here right under the brow bone. I used Canon and Dune in the crease and then a little bit of nightscape underneath my lash line and also in the outer crease and then my lid this beautiful shimmery like you guys can see foiled I did not wet it I only have primer on I put it on straight from here with a brush I think your finger is amazing as well to get this pigment on but I have a combination of terrain and mineral mostly mineral though and then I did some moonscape here right on the inner corners and just kind of drug it in a little bit, but they blended like butter. They went on so creamy and pigmented. The, the first moment I knew this was like a very well pigmented palette was when I started putting Canon in my crease and I was like, whoa, like immediately there was color. So I love that. I love that you don't have to use a lot of a shade to see it. And then these shades all here are honestly highlights and I'm sure these are intended to be contour shades, but I'm loving them as eyeshadows. I'm sure they would work great on the face as well, but I'm loving them as eyeshadows right now. I'm sure I'll play around with them as highlights too, but I wanna show you guys the pigment, like this Mirage shade. So there's the Mirage highlight. You guys can see super reflective. I wanna show you mineral that I have on my lid as well, right next to it. There is mineral. You can see that same reflectiveness. You guys, this is one swipe on my arm, no primer, no wet, no nothing. To show you the pigment of the contour shades, which I used as shadow, here's Canon, the first shade I put in my crease. You guys, that's beautiful. The pigment, oh my God, I can't get over it. I do wanna show you guys a couple of the more fun colors. A couple that I can't wait to use are these two here, Heat Haze and Hot Spring. I'll show you a swatch of those real quick. Oh my God, you guys, these are just like stunning. I put them right next to each other so you can see. I'm not good at doing swatches, but I put them right next to each other so you could see. There is that Heat Haze, so creamy and reflective, and Hot Springs just below it, that blue. Y'all, one swipe, no primer, no wet. This is an amazing palette. This is truly a ballin' on a budget item, and the quality of it, like I said, I'm absolutely floored, so pleasantly surprised by it. So if you can snag this, this is definitely a great palette to add to your collection, just to have some extra shades, to play around with some new palettes. I'm obsessed, I'm so impressed. Great job to BH Cosmetics on stepping up their game and creating some palettes that are really comparable to some of the high-end palettes that you see selling for four times, five times the price. So like I said, I will have everything linked down below for you guys. I'm so glad to be back on YouTube now that we've settled into our new home. We still have so much to do, so much unpacking and setting up, but it's starting to take shape to where we're actually like living here and it feels okay. So I wanted to get this video up because I fucking missed you guys and I'm so excited to create more content and create more videos for you guys. I'm so fucking excited. So as I said, check the description bar for links to those items if you'd like to check them out. If you guys are not following me already on social media, make sure you follow me on Instagram, especially that is where I am the most active. If you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave me some comments and a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have tried these palettes, if you guys are loving them, what your favorite BH Cosmetics palette is, and if you're loving the Desi and Katie collections as well. I will have my face on the screen here per usual. If you click it, you'll be subscribed to my channel, and I will also have some other guys for you guys to check out as well, but I think that's all I have to say right now. So until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.